Lawsuit against the Nelson County School Board was back in front of a judge today. Thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Shay McAllister. The special judge deciding new information stays under attorney eyes only. Ian Hardwick reports on the courtroom hearing with a trial date now on the horizon. The lawsuit coming from parent group Nelson County Ford argues the Nelson County School Board violated Kentucky Open Meetings law. Now their lawyer says information gathered during these legal proceedings could be useful for the Kentucky Department of Education Commissioner as she decides on whether or not the board's removal of Superintendent Wes Bradley goes through. That new info is over a thousand emails and over a hundred texts sent on board members' personal devices. However, Judge Mark Thurman maintained those would stay out of public view for now. NC Ford lawyer Matthew Height wants some of that information to reach KDE's commissioner before the April 5th deadline deciding the superintendent's fate. There's a difference between that and what's actually before this court, which is that the action should be voidable because of a violation of open meetings. Height says the texts are proof of the violation. They are a smoking gun in the hands of the people who decided to terminate the superintendent's contract. A smoking gun he thinks will prove the board conducted public business in private. Regardless of merit, the defense wants to keep the documents contained since the court case is in the discovery phase. They should not be used by the plaintiffs or the public to be used for other purposes, such as providing them at a minimum to the Commissioner of Education. Another defense attorney worried where the records may end up. It is not to be posted publicly on Facebook. It is not to be commented on Facebook. It is not to be emailed to legislators, to KDE, to what have you. The judge and a separate defense attorney argued the commissioner could probably obtain those records anyway if she wished. You know, to, as part of our investigation, our investigation seek the records, you know, she'd be free to do that. Despite her decision, a NC Ford victory in this lawsuit would reverse Superintendent Bradley's removal. In Nelson County, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, another hearing for this case is set for March 28th. The judge also decided today that the trial will get started on August the 1st.